Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come at night. In the heart of a forgotten town, an abandoned school stands as a chilling monument to a bygone era. This is not just any school, it's a place where time itself seems to have halted abruptly, leaving behind an eerie silence that chills the bone. A chilling silence that's occasionally broken by the faint, unexplained echoes of children's laughter. A laughter that once filled these halls with innocent mirth, now turned into a spectral symphony of dread. Picture this. Classrooms that once bustled with activity now lay in a state of ruin. Desks, once neatly arranged in rows, now scattered haphazardly, their surfaces etched with the forgotten stories of yesteryears. The blackboards, once filled with lessons of life and knowledge, now blank and covered with a thick layer of dust. The wallpaper, a faded memory of cheerful colors, now peels away from the walls, revealing the worn-out brickwork underneath. The hallways, once teeming with students rushing between classes, stand silent and desolate. The lockers that once held secrets and dreams of young hearts now stand rusted, their doors creaking with the slightest breeze. A breeze that seems to whisper tales of days long past. And then there's the unsettling sound of footsteps. Footsteps that echo in the emptiness, following no discernible pattern. As if a ghostly procession of students still walk these halls, unaware of the passage of time. It's a sound that sends shivers down your spine, a sound that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. It's a sound that reminds you, you're not alone. Yes, this abandoned school is more than just a dilapidated building. It's a place where the veil between the living and the dead seems thin, where the past and the present collide in a cacophony of spectral energy. It's a place that's alive in its own eerie, uncanny way. The air is thick with an unspeakable dread as if the school is holding its breath, waiting for the unwelcome visitors to uncover its dark secrets. As we venture deeper into the school, the line between the living and the dead becomes blurred. A sudden chill sweeps through the air as if we've walked into an invisible icy cloud. The temperature drops inexplicably, creating pockets of cold spots that seem to linger with an unearthly persistence. It's as though we've stumbled into the spectral energy of the departed a chilling reminder of the school's ghostly inhabitants. But it's more than just the sudden change in temperature that sends shivers down our spines. Out of the corner of our eyes, we catch sight of fleeting shadowy figures. They flit in and out of our vision, their forms indistinct and ephemeral. These spectral silhouettes add a tangible tension to our exploration, a sense of being watched by unseen eyes that never waver from their scrutiny. And then there are the voices, disembodied whispers that echo through the abandoned corridors, snippets of conversations that have long since ended. The eerie laughter of children reverberates off the decaying walls, a chilling chorus of spectral giggles that seem to come from everywhere and nowhere at once. The voices are distant, yet oddly close, as if they're whispering directly into our ears from another plane of existence. But perhaps the most unnerving part of our journey into the spectral heart of the school is the inexplicable movement of objects. Doors creak open on their own accord. Lockers slam shut without a touch. Chairs scrape across the floor, dragged by unseen hands. School supplies left behind in the haste of abandonment shift and tumble as if jostled by invisible school children. These unexplained phenomena, these ghostly presences, add a layer of palpable dread to our exploration. Each corner turned, each step taken seems to stir up more paranormal activity. The school, once a place of learning and laughter, is now a haunted maze of spectral energy and unexplained occurrences. Each step forward seems to stir up more paranormal activity, adding to the fear and suspense that permeates the air. With every eerie incident, the line between reality and the supernatural seems to blur even further, leaving us to question, are we truly alone in this abandoned school? The school, it seems, is not as abandoned as it appears. As our explorers delve deeper into the dark, forgotten corners of the building, they stumble upon gruesome discoveries. The eerie laughter of children and the chilling echo of unexplained footsteps fade into the background, replaced by an entirely different kind of horror. In a forgotten classroom, the walls bear unexplained markings, cryptic symbols etched into the rotting plaster. These aren't the innocent doodles of wayward students. They hint at something far more sinister. The remnants of occult rituals, perhaps? A chilling thought, indeed. The explorers press on, their curiosity piqued despite the growing sense of unease. 
In the school's decrepit auditorium, they find a scene that sends chills down their spines. An arrangement of worn-out chairs forms a circle in the center of the stage, remnants of candles and strange artifacts scattered in the middle. The air here feels heavy, laden with a sense of dread that wraps around them like a shroud. But the true horror, the most terrifying discovery, lies in the school's basement. Here they find traces of a dark history that paints a macabre picture of the school's past. Chains affixed to the walls, a rusty cage in the corner, and what appears to be dried blood stains on the floor. The grim testament of unspeakable acts that once took place within these very walls. Throughout their exploration they encounter chilling apparitions. Shadowy figures flit through the corners of their vision, spectral beings that seem to be drawn to the explorers, their presence only adding to the sense of dread that engulfs the place. The explorers leave the school with more questions than answers. What happened here? Who were the people involved? And most importantly, what forces still linger within the old school's walls? The horrors within these walls are a grim reminder of the school's macabre past. The explorers may have left, but the echoes of their chilling encounter will resonate with them long after, for they have unearthed the horrors that lay dormant within the abandoned school, a chilling testament to the darkness that humans are capable of. As we leave the school, its spectral inhabitants seem to breathe a sigh of relief. We have journeyed through the unsettling silence, felt the ghostly presence and unearthed the horrors that lie within the abandoned school. The echoes of our footsteps once intruding upon the stillness now fade into the distance replaced by the silence that once ruled these halls. Our explorations have taken us through the remnants of a bygone era where the laughter of children has been replaced with the whispers of the unseen and the unknown. The classrooms, once filled with the energy of youthful dreams, now bear witness to the spectral energy that has taken residence. The faint scribbles on the chalkboards, the forgotten textbooks, the abandoned lockers, each a chilling testament to a past that may be best left forgotten. We've encountered the inexplicable, the eerie, and the downright terrifying. The unexplained footsteps echoing in the empty corridors, the shadowy figures lurking in the corners of our eyes, the laughter that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. These experiences, these encounters, have left a lasting impact, a lingering feeling of unease that we carry with us as we step out into the night. The chilling stories we've uncovered, the unexplained phenomena we've experienced, have become a part of us. They are etched into our minds, a constant reminder of the spectral energy that rules the abandoned school. Each shadow we see, each whisper we hear will forever be tainted by the memory of this haunting exploration. As we distance ourselves from the school, we can't help but feel a sense of relief, a sense of escape. Yet we are also left with a sense of wonder and unease, for we know that the school remains silent and abandoned, yet teeming with its spectral inhabitants. The abandoned school with its ghostly inhabitants remains a haunting testament to a past best left forgotten. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come at night.